can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Guys, we're heading over to the shop. I just got out of school. Hopefully, everything's gravy in the Navy with the M3. We're gonna start wrapping it today. We're gonna also go down to the shop and do a few things over there. We're gonna go check up if Sears car can actually get fixed at that shop or at least get diagnosed so we can figure out what's going on with the whole turbo boost problem. But anyways, I'll catch you guys when we're at the shop safe and ready to go. All right, guys, I just spoke with one of the workers there. They told me the quote on a diagnostic which is about 80 to 120 bucks. So I'm gonna wait for a Sear to come over so he can hurt, we can get his car diagnosed here. They can check through air leaks, all kinds of stuff, check where the actual boost leak is actually happening, which is great. So without further ado, let's just head back to the shop, which is right around the corner. You guys can see it from right over here, actually. And uh, start working on the E36 M3. How you doing, buddy? Depressed. You're back to the van? <laughs> Damn, what happened? My car is done for. What happened? Uh, the serpentine belt broke and it got behind the crank pulley and it didn't pierce the seal But there's no way of knowing until I actually drive it. I guess. Yeah, so I actually did some research and it's yeah. saying if, if you can drive it a thousand miles without the belt coming back off Then you're fine, but then if if it comes off <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out a little bit. All right guys. We are here at the shop check out the lip look what happened to me last night This is Jonathan, but I uh, don't mind him, but check this out. This looks insane we have the E36 M3, so I'll show you guys a little what happened. So I'm throwing in some footage from what happened yesterday uh, with the E36 M3, because I wanted to make it a separate video, but it was too short. So I'm throwing in some footage right now. This is a quick little time lapse of what I was doing on the E36 M3. Pretty much, I, I, I just sanded down what needed to be sanded down and it's ready for wrap. The car's looking super ugly um, on the hood and all the pieces taken off, but it is finally officially ready for wrap. So we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping it today. But the 435, unfortunately, I was driving home late last night and there was this piece of cardboard, but it was my car, I, I ride low, I ride low. So it just ate my lip. So live and you learn, I'm not gonna ride low anymore. It's, uh, it's just life. We're gonna have to get a new lip, so. Yikes. Actually, uh, before we actually get to work, uh, me and Jonathan decided we're gonna go eat because uh, we're hungry and uh, I just came back from school and uh, you know, your man's hungry. Let's get the E36 inside. Damn, shout out to Oz, shout out to Keys. Hello, very nice. <laughs> yummy, yummy in my tummy. Hey, man, say it, man. <laughs> Damn, there's no power. It's a 328. All right, guys, the M3 is in here. So uh, let's go ahead and get the wrap out of the car. So, guys, we have the wrap. It's officially behind me, and uh, I guess... I guess it's time. It's time to tell you guys what we're gonna go ahead and wrap the car. I mean, I know I didn't really hype it up, so it is what it is. We have Sear trying to hide there. What's up, bro? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and do it. So, anywho, the color that we end up choosing for this car is the best color in the world is. You guys have seen it on the channel before. Which is Tiffany. Blue. Which is. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we went ahead and got Tiffany blue. I don't know if you guys remember this color, but this is something that Nick has had on his M3. This you is something I had on my 335. I can imagine with black on an E36 slam would just look so good. Bro, it's gonna look so good. Look at this. Oh my god. Dude, it's gonna, it's gonna look so good. It's, it's gonna, gonna look, so good. It's, especially with the roof is black and stuff. Like, Ooh. this is the color. So. I'm digging it. Let's just go ahead, uh, start wiping down. I'm gonna go ahead and do the front end first. So I'm gonna wipe down the fenders, wipe down the hood, wipe down uh, all this. You guys saw that yesterday. I actually did pretty much all the all the sanding on the hood. Uh, this is actually, the, the, the fenders are not damaged, as you guys can see. Fenders are in perfect shape. We're just gonna go ahead and wash everything and get it ready for wrap. But uh, I'm excited to just see this ugly hood be gone. So let's just start cleaning.
Guys, what the hell? Ooh. Bro, this place is so sketchy. Why did my alarm go off? I literally heard my car screaming, but it looks fine. I don't even know. Looks good, right? Looks fine. Okay, and then we're good. Oh, dang. Someone did this to you. <laughs> Imagine it actually scans if someone hit, stepped on the, the carbon. Anyways, what can you, we can... <laughs> it is a little sus. Anyways, uh, let's just get back to work. But we, I heard my car going off and I was like, what the hell? Anyway, let's get back to work. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Cut out that little part right here. Um, and that's for like the windshield washers. You need to cut that real quick. Uh, and then after that, the whole hood's done. So actually the hood came out literally insane, guys. It looked so good. I can't wait to start piecing together the hood and everything on the hood. But as for now, uh, we got a lot of things to wrap. We're gonna have to go ahead and wrap this guy. We're gonna go ahead and wrap the fenders. I actually wanna wrap, like, I don't know, probably a lot of this car today. So we'll see. I actually do wanna wrap uh, this guy right here today uh, just for the fact that we can close the roof. Um, so we will get this done today as well. But uh, what do you wanna do next? What's the next body panel? Let's do the fenders. Fenders? Okay, do you wanna do this side first? Yeah. All right, let's, let's get at it. So right now, um, we got pretty much the whole front clip for the most part, two fenders and the hood wrap. I'm gonna go ahead and order some emblems and we're gonna piece together the hood uh, today before we leave as well. And I wanna piece together the doors as well. I wanna piece, pretty much piece up most of it to get together today. The front bumper and the rear bumper, we do wanna sand it and wrap, you know, leave that for another day. Uh, we do wanna make this car look as good as possible. After running the, after wrapping the whole front end, it actually looks really good. So we're gonna go ahead and do the two doors as well, the two quarter panels, and we might save the side skirts, the trunk, and the bumpers for another day. Uh, even this A pillar right here, might save for another day, so we'll see. But before we actually jump into it, something that's really cool what I like about the E36 since it has like that strip that goes across um, you can pretty much wrap it from here to here and then from here to here so if you mess up you can just cut it right there because you're gonna put a plastic piece right above it like what I did there and uh, it looks really good like when you put that black plastic trim back on you won't even know if you ever had two pieces so that's sick Anyway, let's go ahead and start working on the doors and then the quarters and then uh, we'll pretty much wrap it up for today but I just want to see pretty much how most of the car would look Tiffany I think it'd be sick This is such a sick color, guys. Oh my, with the lighting, with this color lighting, it's not the greatest, but once it's like under white lighting, it's gonna be, oh my, I need to see this outside. This looks so, I had Tiffany Blue before, guys. This is insane. Damn, it's really coming together. That's enough for the E36, off to the 335. So you guys see that pretty much we did the whole quarter panel with the gas cap, where we put the trim piece there. We did the door. Honestly, the door handle came out pretty good even though the door handle was on the car. So that came out really nice. And then uh, we also got the fender done, the hood, which looks so much better. Obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and place an order on some emblems. We'll go ahead and put the, the two washer things in there and then we'll go ahead and fix that. Jonathan didn't do as good as okay. me, you know? Look at mine, it's a lot better. Anywho, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll work on it later. We'll work on it later, right? We'll deal with it later. Uh, but we have a few other things, and then obviously the black and the Tiffany look pretty good. The lighting in here, I'm not gonna lie, doesn't make it look as good. So um, I'm gonna get this car out for another day once we completely finish it. We'll show you guys the before and after, but obviously with the white, there's a lot of white, so it's kind of throwing off the Tiffany. I'm wait, I'm, I'm having a little bit more hope because I remember having this color and it was bomb with black. I had the half 50-50, I throw up a picture right here. It looked insane, so I have faith. Just gotta let the process B. But anyways, um, back to Sears car. So that is the one. <laughs> that is the one we need. Uh, I accidentally told him to buy the wrong ones. We have the right one now. Let's go ahead and swap it out so he's not looking leaking coolant. So uh, let's do that real quick. Finally. 
All right, guys, new eBay tank. We use the original cap, but new tank in here. So, should be good. Finally. Finally. So, that should be good. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and take this car tomorrow. Oh, damn, it's bleeding. Yeah, that's when we actually took out the hose and everything. So, we'll deal with that in a little bit. We're just going to back up the car a little bit, clean that up. We'll take Sears' car tomorrow to the shop. But as of today, same progress on the M3. And then uh, we, we, we picked something on the F F F F so we made. I think this video, I think we covered a lot in this video. If you guys could just smash a like button, that would mean the world. And uh, yeah, please leave a like. Comment and subscribe and peace out. Oh wait, you forgot to stay humble. Stay humble. Don't don't forget. Remember to stay humble. Peace out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in circles. I wanna have worth.